Are free online courses worth it? Well, there was a time when knowledge was available mostly through academic institutions. And that meant if you didn't have money to go to school, you basically remain an illiterate forever. But now, knowledge is free and accessible to all. There is the internet, there is Wikipedia, there is Google, and then add computers and smartphones into the mix. And all these things keep growing in popularity and demand. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Nikki Verd. I am the author of the best-selling book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. And today I wanted to touch on something real quick and talk about whether free online courses are worth it. I know that this is something a lot of people keep asking and wondering, so I really wanted to touch on this topic. And in regards to online courses, there are free ones, they are cheap ones, and they are very expensive online courses taught by guys in their garages. And there are even full-blown university courses that are taken online, even if you don't go to that university. And for some people, online courses are their only option, whether they are free or they are paid. So I thought I would make a quick video and touch on this topic, particularly on free online classes, because I strongly believe learning and investing in your own growth is the single best investment anyone can make, whether they're making it financially or they're making it with their time. The way I look at free online studies is different because free doesn't mean less valuable. To be honest, more often than not, some schools, not all, some schools only care about getting money out of students. It's not about educating them. And some degrees are not worth the paper they are printed on. But let's talk about it. And before we get into the video, please take a quick moment to give a thumb up to my video. It helps my channel and it helps other people discover this knowledge I share. And if you are new, please hit the subscribe button below as well and ring the bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content. You see, in the current economic scenario, Securing a job is a difficult task. And there are always more job seekers than jobs available. So to qualify for the cutthroat competition and get your foot in the door, you need to be able to have an edge over others when you're applying for a job. And one of the best ways to distinguish yourself is to showcase that you are invested in your own learning and you are serious about your own personal development. So even if your online courses don't add uh, direct value to your resume. It still goes a long way to show your interest in the subject and the effort you are putting in lifelong learning, you know, and you learning about new things. In today's era, everything is abundantly available online, you know. Relevant coursework has the ability to increase your skills, thereby making you more relevant and qualified in this age and time. And also traditional education costs an arm and a leg. Tuition, you know, tuition fees, examination fees, prescribed books and other study materials makes it difficult for some people to really get a good education. Since affordability is really a major issue for many people when it comes, you know, to attending college or the university and things like that, the playing field are being leveled with free online courses. And so yes, online courses are definitely worth it. Even if you're doing it for free, some people are fresh out of university with no actual experience. Therefore, having a desire for continual self-improvement coupled with a good work ethic, uh, win over experience, you know, at all times. Also, there are people with no other qualification than a history degree. You know, they are others who graduated long ago and they haven't really kept their knowledge up to date. So whatever they studied is probably obsolete for the most part and so for these type of people who don't have much to show on their cv other than their school accomplishments and their degrees and all of that taking some of these free online courses will let your future employer know that you are a responsible person and that you are serious about your own development and that you want to thrive and grow in your specific field and industry so for example if you go for an interview perhaps and um with the same person who have nothing on their CV other than that they're fresh out of, out of college. And you are also fresh out of college, but you have been taking free online courses in whatever subject that, in, that, in, that you are interested in. 
I mean, the employer will definitely look more into you than someone who have just, you know, certificates listed on their CV. So it is, it is important to take these online courses. It is beneficial to consider these online courses in so many ways, whether they are free or you decide to pay for them. Even if you're just doing it for fun and you don't have any interest in looking for a job, the truth is that that fun will translate into value one day because knowledge is never really wasted. Maybe you're getting into business, that fun will translate into value. So burning the digital candle is definitely worth it. Free doesn't really mean less valuable, like I've already mentioned. Some schools, they're only focusing on money, 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 money out of students, and so many people are getting into student debt. And so it's not about degrees, okay? Once you get some, some knowledge online, it could be even much, much more relevant and much more valuable than, than spending four years in a university and coming out with a degree that is probably not even relevant for the market. What employers are really interested in is what you can actually do. It's not so much about your certificate, it's what you can actually do and how you can solve problems in real time. It's not about a piece of paper, really. And one of the things I mentioned in my book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted, is that education can happen without schooling. And schooling can also happen without education. Schooling is not the same as education. Schooling is done in school, but education can happen anywhere. So never mistake getting a certificate for getting an education. And so there are a few benefits to taking online classes and I will just name a few, okay? You don't have to pay tuition fee, that's like a big benefit to that, you know? All that is required is your time and your energy. Imagine, you know, receiving lectures from some top universities for free, online. I have Personally, I have watched um, certain free online courses from, uh, that are recorded online from, from Harvard University, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, this, this feels great. I probably would never be in, get, get an opportunity to go to Harvard, but sitting and watching online free online courses, some of their free online courses online, is, is quite amazing. And it gives me access to knowledge and information that I otherwise would not have had it if there was anything called free online courses, if you know what I mean. I'll probably do a video and share some of those, uh, those links about Harvard and other top universities, universities that are offering these uh, courses. Another benefit to online courses is that it shows that you are a person who is self-sufficient and you are willing to learn new things, which can help you perhaps start your own business or if you're working, you can start your own side hustle or anything like that. Another benefit is that it is free online courses are great for people who want to make a career switch but don't have the time or the money to go to an actual school, university, or college. And another one is that your future employer will see that you can recognize and take an opportunity when it presents itself, and that you can follow through on simple commitments, like you know, sacrificing your weekend to go and learn something new, or sacrificing time with friends to take a short course and things like that. All of that will add value to your to your CV much more than someone who has not done any of that and another benefit is that it will empower you to grow professionally as well as personally I've already mentioned that actually but generally the knowledge you gain is more important than the course itself for example nobody really cares that you have a certificate in so and so in and of itself but if you can demonstrate the knowledge of that particular topic that is really great and that can come from taking free online courses so furthermore online courses are posted on online learning platforms where you can interact with other people other learners and teachers from all over the world and if you can show that you have taken free online courses and you've put in the time to improve yourself and your career you are far ahead of probably more than 90 percent of of CVs that recruiters receive. Another benefit is that doing an online course, you will 
You will also improve on your communication skills and interpersonal skills by learning how to interact with other people, ask for help, initiate discussions and ask questions and things like that. And another benefit is that teachers are highly knowledgeable about the subject they're talking about, meaning that you can gain first-hand guidance, tips, information from them. It is much better than searching for things on Google or YouTube or social media, where you cannot always be sure if the information is accurate, is rectified, is reliable, or the person delivering the information is even qualified to do so. So when you take an online course, you are really ahead of many people who are just consuming random information online. And another benefit for this, which for me is like the biggest benefit to this, is that it helps you gain knowledge in different areas. You know, different things, which some of the courses could take maybe just a couple of hours or a day. Some of the courses could be a week, some could be two months, some could be three months. It all depends, but the big benefit is that all of these courses will empower you to grow professionally and personally, like I've already mentioned, and it can help you start your own business. Because if you are doing this to start your business, you don't need a certificate to show to anyone or to prove to anyone that you've done this. So, which is the big benefit for those that are self-employed and they're self-sustaining. So when you're taking online courses, it will help, help on, in your knowledge on how to run your business, especially in the digital age in which you are living. You take certain courses that are free online, you learn, you know, perhaps how to, build website then you can do your own thing on your website maybe you can learn designing graphics design you can learn editing you can learn a whole lot of things even digital marketing and all of that there are some courses that are free on all of these different subjects that are online so when you do them as a business person as a self-employed person you are empowering yourself to be able to do your own thing without relying you know or without spending money to in a university or without spending money in a college to doing that so the answer to the question are, are free online courses worth it definitely yes for me it's a yes it's a big yes knowledge is free online courses are free so there is really no reason for anyone to be left behind and say you know what i don't know how to do this i don't know how to do this anything you want to learn you can literally go online learn how to do it and get it done start a business in certain areas you're not really sure of go online learn search on that particular topic learn even if it's not on a an online course platform even if it's just randomly on on, on youtube or on google i feel like i'm contradicting myself here because i mentioned that google might not be very reliable but still it is beneficial for you to learn than for you to just fold your hands and sit back and say well I don't have money to go to school or um, I cannot afford school fees or things like that. Like there are really no excuses whatsoever. So online courses are worth it. Google is worth it. YouTube is worth it. This information I'm sharing with you right now, it is worth it. And I know it was probably going to help someone out there to come out of their comfort zone and start doing something with their life and start searching it online to find, okay, how can I improve myself? How can I become better and things like that? And with free online courses is the best way to start gaining knowledge for free. The word, it's already saying free. So basically for free. And I wish you the best. Thank you for watching. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. For those who are interested maybe in my book, you can check, I will put the links in the description below. You can check it out. It probably also give you some knowledge on how to navigate the digital space and things like that. And thank you once again for watching.